It's assumption time! <laughs> 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 Every time I'm right here, we like talk excitedly. She's like, <laughs> A lot of you had some assumptions on Instagram. <laughs> okay, let's get this started. <laughs> you don't ever have to look too far. You don't have to cover up your scars. You're perfect, darling, just the way you are. So before you think to rip yourself apart, open up my heart and you'll find love, 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 love. We're doing assumptions today. Okay, so RJ measure assumes that the kids never get in big trouble, never grounded, or privileges revoked. That's a lie. That's not true. That's a lie. That's, That's not, not true. We get in trouble. You have to turn your phone in at different times. But it's just, it, there's, there's some punishments. Like, it's not just a carefree. Everyone's not just running wild. The kids don't actually get in trouble that often, but there are consequences to their actions. Ginger Snap Beauty, I assume you are a loving family. You don't yell at each other even when disciplining. That is true. We don't really yell. I mean, every once in a while we'll yell, like, you know what I mean, if you're mad or whatever, but- The yeller is right far. here. Yep. I was like, he probably screams. <laughs> but not like in a mean way, like not like it's yelling at each other. Yeah. Yeah, the rage of video games and yell at them, but that's about it. But yeah. RC man underscore 24. You always make sure kids are comfortable coming to talk to you about anything. Yeah. yeah. I feel like we always try to be really open and honest with our kids about everything in hopes that they'll be open and honest with us. Um, I think for the most part they are, but they are normal teenagers sometimes, so I'm sure they don't tell me about everything. <laughs> Boy problems. <laughs> Greg underscore Bell. Bill? I'm not good at pronouncing names. I'm really sorry. Um, I assume you guys want to adopt again if you have the opportunity. I, I think it would depend on the opportunity. I would say I think we're open to you know open to the possibility, but we have a lot going on right now. Yeah, because right we're now. We're trying no. to move. We're trying to do all these different things. And we really want to focus. Now is not the right time. For yeah, sure. we uh, want to focus on an individual level. Too. Absolutely, absolutely. But we are open to the possibility. Kaylee underscore Morocco says, Hannah is closest with Aurora. I would say yes. I know how to calm her down. Like when mom or dad are leaving, I would also like, I don't know. I think that we're really close. I think I'm the closest with her. And I know how to, I understand her, I feel like. 18 underscore Elise uh, says, I assume you guys have a lot of family meetings. Yes. What do you consider a lot? Like break this down. Um, it, in my opinion, I think we have what, maybe two a week? No, we have one a week. We have every we Sunday. Have one a well, week some, at least. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, usually we just have one a week, but sometimes if like the kitchen isn't clean, we'll have more. But <laughs> that's that's pretty much it. Lindsay.armadillo says, you are going to be bigger mental health advocates now because of Hallie. That assumption is true. We think that mental health is so important and I'm definitely adv advocating for myself and um, just spreading awareness. Sassy Buddy for God says, I'm assuming that Hallie is feeling so much better. She's an inspiration to so, so, so many loves. That is true. I have a lot more coping skills than I did before and I am doing better. Jake Away Day 1919 says, Hallie got a secret boy. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm single. We got some assumptions for you. <laughs> zero Zero Ambria says, Ariana has a boyfriend. I wish. I unfortunately don't. Terry Anna Lawrence says, Ariana and Hannah are the life of the party. I just have a lot of energy. I mean, Wait, <laughs> you guys walked in on me sleeping. That's because I have a lot of energy. <laughs> At like three o'clock in the afternoon, you're sleeping. <laughs> I have energy to be the life of the party. She stayed up too late last night partying, so she is the life oh, of yeah. the party. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Laura Danielis underscore says the kids fight over the bathroom all the time, if not every single day. 
Um, in my opinion, I don't think we really fight over the bathroom. I think we only fight over it when like someone's in the shower and you have to like pee. They'll just like knock on the door several times like, are you almost done? And then five minutes later, are you almost done? But like, other than that, we don't really fight over the bathrooms. We actually get pretty, we get along pretty well with them. I must say, I don't personally hear a lot of fighting over the bathroom. Yeah. Just hot water every once in a while. Hot yeah. water can be an issue sometimes. <laughs> but that's sure. never a problem for me. <laughs> Wait, why is it not a problem for you? Um, because either I stay up late and then like I shower like crazy times, <laughs> or I take it like during the day when no one's here. I must say we do have kind of a schedule going on where everybody takes a shower at a certain time of the day so it doesn't overwhelm our water heater and typically it lasts, but yeah. Hallie's driver's license came in. We want to see the picture. No. Is it bad? I don't know. Addix Lancaster says that Hannah stopped growing. Just kidding, just kidding. Love you from England. I think, I think I did. You think you stopped growing? I think growing? I stopped growing. You're not getting any taller? No. <laughs> it's not. I, I think I'm done growing, so. So what is your height? I think I'm like 5'2". You and I are the same. <laughs> this one's for dad, and it's also from Aaron, 10, 24, 3. Aaron does the most of the chores. No way. No. <laughs> I really don't do a lot around the house, per se. That's a laughable assumption. Yes, that's really funny. <laughs> I appreciate that you think I work that hard, though. <laughs> Dios Mary Kaplan says, Hannah is kind of confused about meeting her biological mom. Yes, kind yes. of, yeah. <laughs> yes, because like part of me wants to meet her and then part of me doesn't want to meet her. And then I want to meet my other siblings, but I can't meet my other siblings without meeting my mom. So, yeah. Ryan underscore Norton two says, Crystal acts more like a mom off camera than she seems to on the vlogs. Oh my gosh, okay, this assumption's actually true. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I think it's the biggest misconception about me is a lot of people are like, oh, you're just always trying to be friends with your kids. But in actuality, I don't parent on camera. So you guys just don't see that side of me because when a kid does need to be disciplined or I need to correct them or consequences, those things, I do turn off the camera and handle that separately out of the privacy for my kids. And I just don't feel that there's any tactful way to do that on camera. I don't feel comfortable doing that. So if you ever see like one of the kids do something and then it has a cut in there, that's because I cut the camera and I parented because parenting comes number one and first to me. But if I could ever figure out a way to be respectful and show that, I would love to figure that out because I think that would be really cool. So yes, that's career. Kayla underscore RN underscore. Crystal and Aaron have always dreamt of having a big family. That's I don't true. know what you consider a big family. <laughs> I want to, okay, in, in full transparency, before I got married and had kids and a family, I wanted two kids and Crystal wanted. I wanted four kids. So. So we compromised and we had did 13. Two, we did two to the fourth power. <laughs> <laughs> Which if you do the math means we're not done yet. This one's Megan Quinn XO. I assume you have weekly mental health check check-ins with all the kids since Hallie has been suffering. So we are always checking in on our kids. It's not like we do like weekly or monthly. I mean, it's on a daily basis. We're constantly evaluating and going to the kids and what's going on and talking and just remaining open communication with them and making sure that we're close. Nunez.mia says, I may or may not have always assumed that all of your children behave well 24 seven, smiley face. Okay, that would be the perfect world. <laughs> I would love that, but the reality is no, they don't. Our kids we, are normal kids, I think. They're normal kids. They I feel like the they are that. pretty well behaved for the most part, but they're not, They're far from perfect as our whole family is, as we are as parents also. But I think that we try our best and I feel like the kids try their best. So that girl, Lonnie says, you guys are embarrassed of being Mormon, which is why you don't show it. Okay, 
Real quick clarification, Mormons no longer go by the name Mormon. We are members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Okay, so that is a very false ass assumption. So I have a few different, and I know we've done a video talking about religion and kind of how we feel about it. We are very open to it, and I feel like it is such an individual choice that I don't feel that I should push that on to anybody. The other thing is there are some people in the religion that we don't want to be grouped into an association with. And that is that we, or Mormons, are against the LGBTQ plus community. And that is not something that That's we want to be associated with that because we do not feel that way. And we love and support everybody. We are allies. We are allies. It's a nice keyboard. I like it. Uh, Ariad Naratu, Naruto, Naruto, says, Luke and Alex are best friends right now. Off and on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, we are really close actually. They are super competitive when it comes to games. Yeah. And so they play, uh, what games do you play? NBA? Uh, yeah, we play NBA, we play sometimes Madden. Uh, we used to play Cold War. And, and they get really yeah. competitive. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, they are best friends. Yeah. <laughs> Lucy Seaburn underscore X says, you love having a big family. P.S. Love you all. Do you love having a big family? Is that a correct assumption? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Because there's a lot of people hang out with. So if like one person doesn't want to hang out with you, there's a bunch of people that will love to. And it, that's what I like about having a big family. Srinija underscore Dasara says, Max is super introvert. I love him though. <laughs> that is a true assumption. <laughs> yeah. Ariad Naratu says, Max is the funniest. I am. <laughs> Fatima G Godoy. 1983 says, Max feels like he's the odd one out. Mm, no, not really. I am more introverted, so. Just a couple more and we're gonna be done for today. So this one says, Isabel Tillier, I assume that you work really hard and your days are always super busy. Yes, that is, a, <laughs> that true is a true assumption. We are very busy. We have a lot of different things going on. Um, I'm tired. I could use a nap most days, for sure. <laughs> I don't like I taking naps. <laughs> oh, underscore x dot r u underscore j a dot x underscore. Wow. Uh, Alex wants to move soon. That is their assumption. Is this true or false? It's actually kind of false. Cause I'm not scared to move. I just don't want to leave the family. Cause I'll be super lonely. Cause Spencer. I took it I, another way. I want to. I want to move in with Spencer or Josh. But Josh has a girlfriend now, so like I don't want to intrude that. And Spencer, obviously, he's only 17. So I'll just be by myself. You won't be by yourself. You know the scene he's, off of Shrek, the donkey. Gone. I'm all alone, there's no one here beside me. RJ Schmooser, sorry, assumes that the kids never get in big trouble, never grounded or privileges revoked. We actually do, but it depends on the on like what we did because every, every action has a consequence. So if it's a big action, and of course you're gonna have a big consequence. But you guys don't get in trouble very often. No, because they're good, They're good kids. kids. We actually really have good kids. We're blessed. Jocelyn.950 assumes the boys will protect the girls to death. Oh, yes, for sure. There's not a doubt in my mind that if anything happened to my sisters, I'd be the first to step in. Always, always. I did it with Luke, ah. do it with the girls. Ah. Call me a girl. Alex is really protective yeah, yeah. of everyone. You call me a girl? Star Catches says, there's never toilet paper. Oh, it's not that there's never toilet paper. There's just never a toilet paper in the bathroom. <laughs> like people use it and then it's just an empty roll. And it's like, come on guys, put another roll. You, you know how many times I've had to call Max or text Max? <laughs> it's not okay. It's not <laughs> I go to the first bathroom, the toilet's not working. So I go to the second bathroom, and then the toilet's not working in there. Are you sure it wasn't user error? 
<laughs> Can you really use a toilet rock? Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing surprises us. But hey, I am looking to try a bidet. So if you make bidets out there, hook us up. What? what? No, don't send us a bidet in Send us a bidet, come on. Don't do that. Wait, what That's is weird. That? They use them in Europe. Okay, a couple more assumptions and we're gonna wrap this video up. So, vv.h, one of the most important things in your family is to tell and show how much you love each other. That is true. That's like your number one priority. See, see? <laughs> There's so many good assumptions and some crazy assumptions and just, yeah, you guys so are really <laughs> amazing. <laughs> <laughs> and we just appreciate each and every one of you. There were quite a few on Jamie and Jamie's disability and what that is. So Jamie does have special needs. And I know there were a few other comments that were asking, what does she have? What is her disability? And it is classified, so it is considered ID, which is an intellectual disability. And she is on like the medium to severe side of that. Um, but she has been doing so amazing. We are so proud of all of her life skills and everything that she's been learning. Jamie is absolutely amazing. So um, you guys are also amazing. You guys had so many assumptions. There were so many like crazy ones, fun ones. Some we can't say on, <laughs> on mine, <laughs> but we really do appreciate and love each and every one of you. And we will see you guys next time. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.